Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. Pam packs 4 kilograms of onions equally into 10 bags. What is the mass of onions in each bag? Quite simple. Give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form and give your answer as a decimal. All right, so what we have to do is find out the mass of onions in each bag and then express it in two different formats. Okay, one is fraction format and the other one is in decimal format. So what Pam had was she had four kilograms of onions. So if you make a model for that, it will look something like this. Okay, so Pam had four kilograms of onions so let's say that this is the onions that Pam had, okay, and this was 4 kilograms. Okay, so this is the red onions that Pam had and the mass of this was 4 kilograms. So this is 4 kgs or 4 kilograms. Then she divided the onions equally into 10 bags. So what she did was she made 10 bags out of four kilograms of onions. So this was bag number one, this was bag number two, this was bag number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now what we have to find out is the mass of onions in each bag. So how much is the mass of onions in each of these bags? Okay, so we have to find out what this is equal to. Now it's quite simple. Very simple, very straightforward. 10 units are equal to 4 kilograms. Then 1 unit would be equal to 4 kilograms divided by 10. So 1 unit here is the mass of onions in 1 bag. Okay, 1 unit means 1 bag because this is 1 unit and this is equal to 1 bag. So the mass of onions in each bag would be 4 kilograms divided by 10. Now what we have to do is find out the answer in fraction format. Now think about this. What is a fraction actually equal to? Well, a fraction is just the same as division. We learned that in a previous lesson that fraction is nothing but a division. So 4 kilograms divided by 10, if you were to express that as a fraction, this would be as good as saying it's 4 upon 10, that many kilograms right this 4 becomes a numerator and this 10 here is the denominator if you were to write this as a fraction so the mass of one bag is equal to 4 upon 10 kilograms if you want to write the answer in fractional format but let's simplify this let's see if we can simplify this okay let's uh, try to divide the numerator as well as the denominator by a certain number let's see 2 okay and see what we get well if we divide 4 by 2 we get 2 here and we get 5 here can we divide this further? I don't think so. So that's the end of it. So the fraction 4 upon 10, that many kilograms, is actually equal to 2 fifths kilogram. So the mass of onions in each bag is equal to 2 fifths of a kilogram, okay, in the fraction format. And that's really the end of it. So A is equal to 2 fifths of a kilogram. How about the answer in the decimal format, okay, the second part of this question is give your answer as a decimal. So we have to find out what the mass of onions in each bag will be equal to in the decimal format. Okay, now we know that 10 units, okay, 10 units are equal to 4 kilograms. So the mass of 10 bags is 4 kilograms. Then what's the mass of one individual unit or one individual bag? Well, that will be 4 kilograms divided by 10, right? Well, what you have is you have the number 4 and you have to divide it by 10. Now, if we write this 4 as a decimal number, this would be equal to 4.0 kilograms, right? And this 10 stays the same. So it's actually 4 kilograms divided by 10 in the decimal format. If you convert 4 to a decimal number, it would be equal to 4.0. You just put a decimal point here followed by a 0, okay? The value of this doesn't change. It still stays 4 kilograms. Now, what you have is you wrote 4 kilograms, okay, this whole number as a decimal number. So you wrote it down as 4.0, okay, instead of just 4. 
Now you have to divide it by 10. Now, if you're not very sure about how to divide a decimal number by 10, then I recommend that you please do go watch the lesson that I have done on decimals in which I have explained how to divide a decimal number by tens, hundreds, and thousands, and so on. It's actually a very easy lesson. So you do go watch that lesson, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure out then that all you do when you divide a decimal number by 10 is shift this decimal point one place to the left. So after you shift this decimal point one place to the left, what you get is you get 0.4 kilograms. So when you divide a decimal number by 10, then all you do is shift its decimal point one place to the left and one place because there is one zero in the number 10. Okay. If you were dividing it by 100, you would shift the decimal point two places to the left. So I really recommend that you do go watch that lesson video that I've done on how to divide a decimal number by tens, hundreds, and thousands. Well, all right, for now, uh, this is the answer, 0.4 kilograms, or if you wish, you can put a zero here just before the decimal point and read it as 0 0.4 kilo. It's one and the same. And 0 0.4 kgs is the answer to question number B. So you can say that the mass of onions in each bag is either two-fifths of a kilogram or you can say it as 0 0.4 kilograms. Actually, you know, if you take two-fifths of a kilograms, okay, if you take two-fifths of a kilogram and you convert from here to a decimal, from a fraction to a decimal, you can do that as well. But what you do is you simply take two and you divide it by five, okay, and the answer is in kilograms because that's what actually a fraction is. It's uh, the numerator divided by the denominator. Now you divide two by five, then what do you get? Well, let's see, if I divide two by five, so I have two here, okay, I'm doing the working here on the top right corner and I want to divide it by five. Now two cannot be divided by five, so I put a zero here and then I put a decimal point here. And then I put an imaginary zero in front of two. So now I divide 20 by 5. Well, how many times can 5 go into 20? Well, 5 can go into 24 times. And 4 times 5 is 20. And you have a remainder of 0. So you see 2 divided by 5 is also equal to 0 0.4 kilograms, which is what you had found here using the units method. So you see you can take the first answer, the answer that you got in question number A, and you can derive the second answer, which would be 0 0.4 kilograms. So it doesn't matter which method you use, whether you use the unit method or you use the fraction to division method, you still get the same answer. So it's totally up to you which one you prefer. Well, for now, this is the end of this word problem and I hope you understood it. And I also hope you'll go and check out some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.